Hi, I'm Martina and I am Product Manager at Ergonaut. Ergonaut is a PIM tool that helps you manage your product catalog and streamlines the workflow of your team. Today, I am going to show you how to create a product card using our template designer. So let's get into it. So whenever you log in into Ergonaut, you land in dashboard where you can see all the basic information what's going on in the system. On the left side, you've got the main menu. Let's take a look at the product design tab. You've got multiple options here, such as attributes, attribute groups, product templates, categories, and category trees. Whenever you start thinking about the structure of your assortment, it's best to start with configuring your categories. So let's see how we can build categories under this tab. So once you land on categories, you can see a table with columns that specify the details of each category. The most interesting for you would be the name of the category and number of the products that are in this category. You have basic searches within each column that you can use. Each category you can remove or edit. By editing, I mean adding the translation to the specific category. How can you add a category? You can do it by clicking the green button in top right corner. You name your category. If it's a two-word name, then make sure that you link them with the underline mark. Click Create. It saves the category. Click Create and Edit. It saves category and directs you to the editing options. You can see that I've added many categories here. There's no limitation to how many categories you can have. Important, you can add one product to many categories and a product can exist without being assigned to a category. Once you've added the categories, you can start building your tree. Go to the tab Category Trees and you'll see the similar column added categories. You've got searches here and you can edit and remove each tree. When you click on Edit button, you have tabs Options, Translations, similar as in Categories, and you've got the Designer tab, which is where you actually design the tree. On the left side, you've got the list of all categories available in the system. You can search for the categories and once you find the desired one, you simply drag and drop it onto the grid on the right side. You can easily change the children of the parent category and even remove it. You can add the same categories in two category trees. The system works seamlessly with around 1000 category trees and 8 nested children. Ok, so we've done the categories and category trees, now we can move to attributes. We've got attribute section and attribute group section. Why do we need attribute group? It's a place where you simply group attributes that share similar function on the product card. For example, here I've got attribute group called media and within that group I've got all the attributes that are connected to the media, such as images, galleries, files, etc. Another example is the SEO attribute group. It gathers all attributes that I created with the context of filling in the SEO content. Here you can see the table with columns, again you can use searches to find a specific group, and here you can see how many attributes each group consists of. You can create multiple groups in order to maximize your process of enriching the product later on. How do you create the group? It's similar as in categories. Just click the green button on the top right corner, enter the name of the group, and that's it! Great! Let's take a look at the attributes themselves. You'll see the table with multiple columns here with search options and filtering options by type, scope, group, or template. We've got 11 types of attributes in the system. Date, file, gallery, image, multi-select, numeric, price, product relations, select, text, text area, and unit. It's important to use as many types as possible to later on be able to filter those on the product catalog. In order to create a new attribute, you click on the green button on top right corner, choose the type, let's maybe work with select, add the system name, Scope, you can choose global or local, 
Global means that the value from the specific attribute will be inherited from the root language into other languages. For example, attribute dimensions or product number would be of a global scope because it's an, a universal feature. Whereas attributes description or alternate text would be of a local scope, as in each language the value is different. Later on, you specify the group of attributes. You can add it to multiple groups, and then you add the options to the attribute. Once you're done with it, you click create or create an edit if you want to change something. Important, you can always change the scope of the attribute and the groups it belongs to, but you cannot change the type and the system name. If you need to change those two values, then you need to remove the whole attribute, so be careful. In the translations tab, you can translate the attribute name and its values for the options, when it comes to the multi-select or select type. Awesome! Finally, we're ready to start designing the product card and we're starting with the product template. Product template is a set of attributes that belong to one product family. Here you can see that I have many templates as I have a rich product assortment connected with fashion and sports. It's always better to create more product templates, especially if the products within this family differ in terms of attributes. For example, I've got here template called polo shirts and shirts. Even though they may be associated as similar products, they have different attributes. How do you create the product template? Click on the green button on the top right corner. You have multiple options here. Define system name, add the image so you can localize the template easier, set default label attribute and default image attribute, and you're ready to design. Click create an edit and move to the designer tab. The sidebar is divided into attributes and widgets. With attributes, you've got listed all the attributes available in the system. They're organized in the attribute groups. You can use search, and if you need to add the extra attribute, you can do it by clicking the green plus on the bottom. When you click on widgets, you've got one text section available. It's a divider between elements to make sure it's more readable while placing one attribute next to each other. If I want to add an attribute to the template, I simply drag and drop the desired one onto the grid. I can change its position, adjust the size or remove it. Very interesting option here is making the chosen attribute as a required one. It means that a person who will be enriching the product needs to fill in this attribute because a manager set it as a required in this product. If my template looks cluttered, I can always add rows at the bottom or use the dividers to make it more visually appealing. Okay, so let's see how this template looks on the product card. If I want to see it, I need to go to the product catalog and choose any product and change its template into the one I just worked on. I can also create a testing product to see how it looks. And that's it! That's how you create a product card using Ergonaut. To find out more, go to our website ergonaut.com and visit our YouTube channel for more tutorials. There will be more!